OPSWAT. Trust no file. Trust no device. Hi, my name is Amit Schulman. I'm a solution engineer at OPSWAT. Today I will show you um, what kind of information Meta Access can provide you with and how you can use that information to enforce compliance on, on devices that are trying to connect to your environment. To do that, I'll go ahead and use the configuration page under our policies. I'll just choose the default policy here and let's review what, uh, what items we have here. So the first tab um, for vulnerabilities detection on that uh, device. So first section, you can see that patch management and we're capable of detecting if the device has any type of patch management and if we find any errors on this uh, solution. You can also look for known vulnerabilities on this device and that can be done um, either by Oxford score or by the CVSS score. Now, any of these items that I actually want to use to prevent that device from logging in, let's say the patch management is disabled, I can go ahead and consider that as a critical issue. Any critical issue that will be detected on that device can prevent the user from logging in. Now, I can also say that the device needs to have a certain number of critical issues before I block the access. Under compliance checks, we have a few options and let's start from the anti-malware. So first of all, as far as detection of the product itself, we distinct between Mac operating systems and Windows operating systems. Now, let's say in my organization, we're using um, ESET as, as our anti-malware solution. I can force my users to, to use ESET just by applying that here. Now. I can say that any ESET product that will be uh, uh, present on that device is good enough for me. Or I can say, hey, my users needs to use um, ESET endpoint uh, antivirus version 5, for example. Any other version, I will consider that as a critical issue and prevent the user from logging in. We can also detect if uh, the local anti-malware has the real-time protection on or off. In case it's disabled, we can go ahead and attempt to enable that and automatically remediate that issue. We can also detect uh, when was the last time that the signature uh, definition was updated. And again, we can try to remediate that issue automatically. And we can also uh, look and see uh, when was the last time that a full system scan happened and that is configurable. So I can say if the user didn't scan the entire system in the past week, I'm going to consider that as a critical issue. And then I can look for threats that were detected on that uh, endpoint in the past uh, certain amount of days. As for encryption, so the first thing uh, is again the detection of the actual solution on the endpoint and we see again a breakdown for different operating systems and the different products that we support. You can also see if the uh, system drive is encrypted or I can look for any other partition on that um, device and see if it's encrypted or not. As for user authentication, uh, you can make sure that the user has password protection and there's a lock screen, uh, screen timeout in place. You can make sure that an anti-phishing uh, solution is enabled on the endpoint. And then for backup, um, we can detect if there's a backup solution installed and when was the last time the user uh, performed the system backup. As for firewall, um, we can detect if it's enabled or disabled. And again, we provide options to um, um, automatically remediate that issue. We can see how much uh, space there's available on the hard drive, and we can also infer, uh, enforce a minimum operating system. And maybe a quick note here is that we also distinct between the type of system. So I can consider, for example, 
um, not having a backup software installed, a critical issue just for desktop and laptops, and then leave the virtual machine, machines and servers out of this compliance uh, check. As for infection, so we can scan that device that's trying to log in. Um, we can scan the running processes for malware, and we do that with uh, multiple scan engines, giving you a better detection rate. Um, I can use that as a critical issue, and then I can also say, okay, at least two or three scan engines need to detect a certain uh, process as a threat before I consider that a real threat and, and blocking the user based on that information. You can also uh, get visibility into the anti, uh, local anti-malware logs to see if there, is, uh, there are any repeated threats. So if we see the same threat being quarantined day after day, I can say after three days, I consider that as a critical issue and block the device. Unwanted uh, applications lets you define a group of unwanted applications. So for example, if the user has uh, OneDrive or Dropbox uh, either installed or running, or let's say your user is using uh, Skype or Mozilla for uh, file sharing and so on, um, I can consider that as an issue. Now, we have two parts here. First of all, I can consider, um, again, if, either if that application is running or installed, I can consider that as a critical issue. And then I can also take action and I can try to either uninstall that application or disable it. Now, in case you want to um, look for anything else that we're not covering under vulnerabilities, compliance check, uh, infections, or unwanted applications, you can go ahead and create your own script. Um, to look for that information on the endpoint. So let's say you're using a certain application that uh, Meta Access can't detect. You can create a script that will look for specific information on the device to, to identify if that application is running. That can be a registry, a registry key or a certain uh, process that's running and basically send back either uh, true or false and use that information um, also to enforce the compliance check when the device is trying to access. We're also capable of um, running compliance check on Linux devices. Um, and you can see a little bit more limited set of detections here. So what we can do on Linux, for example, we can uh, detect uh, generally any anti-malware application. And then we can also look to see when was the last time the definition uh, signatures were updated. We can also detect the uh, uh, encryption state and the firewall state on Linux operating systems as well as scanning um, the running processes in memory um, for any, any running threats. If you have more questions, please do feel free to contact our sales team at sales at opswat.com. Opswat. Trust no file. Trust no device.